Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about potentially speed boosting in 2k19, dribble moves, a few different things. But first, make sure to drop a like real quick guys and a comment. It helps a lot. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell for post notifications. It's seriously free. It doesn't cost any money. Just, just do it for me real quick. And yeah, and go follow me on Twitch, guys, right up here on the screen before we get into it. I stream every single day. Go follow me on Twitch, guys. Link to the Twitch will also be in the description. Gino plays games right there on the screen. Okay, anyway, so I'm on Mike Wang's Twitter right now, guys. If you guys don't know, Mike Wang is the gameplay director for NBA 2K. And a lot of people have been asking me, like, are you making this archetype? Are you making that archetype? Are you going to do this? Or is there dribbling? Is there this? You know what I mean? Like, there's just so many questions, bro. And I honestly, bro, when people ask me those kind of questions, I just tell them, I don't know. Once we get some information, then I'll be able to make either a prediction, an educated guess, or I'll be able to tell you, hey, look, this is actually out and released. But until there is something released officially, it's hard for me to tell you guys something. Because then it's just going to be like... Oh my god, Gino told me this, and then it's not even in the game. He lied to me, or he doesn't even know what he's talking about. And I'm not about that. I'm not about that unless I know for sure or have a strong guess. So this is why today, I'm back here today. I saw this tweet by Mike Wang, right? A lot of, him, a lot of people have been asking me. A lot of people have been asking me, guys, is there speed boosting in 2K19? Can you dribble the same as 2K18, uh, etc.? And when I saw this tweet... So I saw this tweet by Mike Wang. Someone asked him, how many dribble tiers are there? And he said, there's three tiers based on ball control. Tier one is uh, 70 or less than 70 ball control. Tier two is 70 to 85 ball control. And tier three is 86 plus ball control. So there's no official release of information. There's no leak or anything. Like I don't know for sure. But if I had to make an educated guess for you guys, first of all, there is speed boosting. We already know that, but I'm just going to tell you guys, for those people who don't know, 86 plus ball control will be able to speed boost again. They didn't say it anywhere, but that's just my educated guess because that's how it's always been for as long as I can remember. 86 ball control and above, and you can speed boost. There's not going to be like how 2K18... It was like 86 ball, uh, 86 ball control was a tier, and then there was like elite dribble moves, um, 90 plus. So I think this year they're actually just removing the fourth tier, and it's just gonna be like probably something like normal is like seven or below 70 is probably gonna be like normal dribble moves. Uh, 70 to 85 is probably gonna be like pro dribble moves, and then 86 plus is gonna be elite dribble moves. That's just my prediction, guys. They might be called something else, but you guys get the picture. The elite dribble moves, 86 plus will be able to speed boost. That's what I'm telling you guys. There's, look, I feel comfortable saying that there's no way that that's not how it is. That's my educated guess, and that's how it's gonna be. I don't know like what builds can speed boost yet, or what what's the height or minimum, you know what I mean? Like maximum height, maximum weight that you can speed boost at. But well, I'm telling you guys, once I find out that information, I will tell you guys, I will let you guys know. But this is just something that I came across. And I'm like, dude, I get so many questions when I'm streaming every single day, bro. Every single day when I'm streaming, I get these questions. On my videos in the comment section, I get these questions. I was like, why not answer, bro? I'm just going to make a quick video, tell you guys what I discovered. A tweet. This was, uh, so right now is July 28th. This was July 25th. So I'm, so I'm telling you guys, speed boosting 86 plus ball control. So once we get more info, I'll be able to tell you guys all the builds that can speed boost and stuff. But that's honestly the main thing I wanted to talk about. There's some more. There's some more things. Um, like let me see. Someone said, "I honestly hope Mike Wayne gets rid of the L2 dribbling nonsense for real. I feel like it's a handicap." I agree. If you guys didn't know, instead of just using the right stick to dribble. You can actually use L2 to do dribble moves like when you're going up the court or you can even do like let's say a momentum crossover and then and then press L2 and then hold your left stick in a direction it could do like a momentum behind the back and other moves and it's just like dude it's taking out the skill gap because it's like so easy you don't have to even like know what you're doing you just randomly press buttons and it does the moves for you so Mike Wang said L2 dribbling is gone 
It's used for hard stops and hezzies in 19. And I think that's exciting as hell. I hated that L2 dribbling. It just made people like super like better than they actually were. The only thing I ever used the L2 dribbling for was the spin, like the half spin. And that is like super easy to do it with the right stick anyways. So I think this is exciting news. This is good news. I think 2K19 is going in a good direction, guys. And let's see anything else that I want to touch upon. Let's see. There's another question someone had. Is there no more right stick left down, right down for behind the or for between the leg cross? Is there any assignment to those left, right and down dribble or direction dribbling? Are they left out as commands and dribbling also different layups? Mike Wang said, between legs cross will be on RT, R2, and right stick left. Okay. Basically, a turbo modified cross makes it a little easier to pull off consistently. Escape cross, cross to Hezzy. Is now a chain move, tap left twice quickly. Honestly, guys, I'm trying to understand what, like, I'm trying to visualize how it's actually going to be. I understand like the buttons he's talking about, but I don't understand how it's actually going to look. But we'll see once 19 comes out. But escape dribbles, it's cool, man. I, I like that. If there could be a dribble, if there can be like a dribble to help you get away, that's like dope, man. I don't know. I like that. I think this is the last thing I'm going to read. Mike Wing tweeted out um, four days ago. 24th of July said random 2k19 info if you have a trailing defender holding LT will trigger a hold off which is like a crisp ball like dribble that will allow you to seal the defender behind you for a bit great for cutting defenders off and opening up a driving lane to the rim enjoy I don't know how I feel about this I mean it's gonna be it, it's probably not as cheesy of an animation as I'm imagining but I just hope it's not OP I just hope it's not like so you can't like rip the ball from him and you and it's just easy for him to get to the lane but yeah guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it answers some questions because people ask me so many questions guys on a daily basis hopefully this guys hopefully guys this answers your questions man i love you guys so much for real i'm so excited for 2k19 coming out prelude in one month games coming out in five weeks for real, love you guys so much. Drop a like, drop a comment, sub up to the channel. Nobody's on. I will see you guys in the next video. Much love from your boy Gino. I'm out. Peace.